my channel if you're new my name is Jadi and I am going to do my box turn my boxing for the month of August stay till the end of the video because there may be a little giveaway after this video so um just stay tuned if you've missed out on what the sneak peeks are I mean if you did I don't know how that's even possible because everyone's talking about everything that will be in this box but if you did I'm gonna link them up here I'm gonna link um the, my videos and then you guys can just go visit those watch those get like full-on detail pricing what they're supposed to do information on each product but I'm just gonna open my box so here we go I couldn't find the weight of my box if you guys know how to do that through the post office let me know and I'd be more than happy to kind of pin a comment with that information but I did check and I, I, I couldn't figure it out I can't find the um, weight for my box as per usual, you get the little informational slip, and mine has a little three at the bottom. That means I have variation three. There's a whole bunch of coupons. For those of you who are new, there's this scanning bar right here. If you scan that, it'll take you to the website with all the coupons and all that good stuff. So this month, life of the party is the theme. Let's see what I got. I'm so excited. Okay. So one of the first things I see is this one right here, and it is the so uh, the NCLA Los Angeles So Reach uh, Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. Y'all know about this. This is in the So Reach Lollipop Lollipop. I just want to smell it. Apparently, it's supposed to smell like marshmallow. I mean, I wouldn't say marshmallow. It does smell a little sweet. Um, if you didn't see my previous video, I received this once before. This one is in. I think rich the label came off I think I said rich before I really like the smell of this yellow one instead because it's just like it smells a little more perfumey versus sweet I'm not too big on like sweet sweet scents I mean maybe peach and chocolate but aside from that like I'm not too big on sweet sweet scents but this is a very mild sweet scent so it's not something that's really gonna bother you I feel like it's gonna go away like super quickly after you apply it on your cuticles so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next product I got the best Beauty and apparently this is the chocolate gel liner that everyone is getting mine came pretty much open as you can see I never even had to um, twist it to open okay this is cute I like the packaging I feel like the packaging is kind of like the Anastasia except Anastasia has the black cap so we're gonna go and swatch that you know I did hear from a few of you guys that um, this can, like some of us may be able to pull this off for the brows too so should I do that we might play around with this and apply this on the brows and see how that rolls here is what the product looks like if you see me looking to the side it's I have a viewfinder there so I just want to make sure you guys can see it the packaging is cute like it's there's nothing like super special on it, it just says bang beauty right there we did receive the wander beauty eye masks so in my mind when I read it it said set of six but then I see that they only sent three so I feel like did they mean that each packet had two which is one two three four five six I don't know so we're gonna go ahead and give this these babies a try I'm gonna actually apply one now because like I said it's first thing in the morning and um, even though I don't really have like dark so like really bad dark circles or puffiness I wouldn't mind using one of these first thing in the morning and I kind of want to show you guys what it looks like and stuff so we're gonna play with this next I was curious as to what my variant would be and I ended up getting this primer here. This is the backlight priming filter. It looks like this. Um, I'll compare it to the one that we got in the limited edition. So they are the same size. We're going to go ahead and play with this primer today. The lippy I received is this Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Lip. And this one is in bad B, I think. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. I feel like this is the formula I told you guys that does not dry. But you know what, though? I'm, I'm cool with it. I'll, I'll take it. At least it's a nude color. And when I play around with the palette and kind of come up with a fun look, this is a color that I can pull off along with the eyes, I think. So this is what it's looking like right now. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty I wish it were to dry matte but clearly this one's not going to so we're just gonna move on and the very last product in the box is this right here is the Laura Lee Los Angeles party animal palette I think the size is so cute I really do like the packaging 
One of you guys told me that, I can't remember who it was, I'm sorry, but one of you guys told me that it was her husband Tyler who created like the design for the packaging, which I think is really pretty, so good job Tyler. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. Um, there's my ring light, so I'm gonna cover this up. And you do get a mirror, which I really do appreciate. Let me remove the slip. And then these are the colors we are going to play around with today. So these are really bright colors. I feel like the pictures didn't do it justice. Like they're super bright, like they're bright. But we're gonna play around with them. Um, I'm just gonna swatch a few. I feel like I want to do a purple and a blue type of look and the crazy part is I have a field trip with Ty today so I'm gonna wear these okay well they mm, I've uh, yeah, yeah well you you seen okay so I'm not the best swatcher ever but these are slightly patchy just a little bit just a little bit patchy nothing that I can't play with sometimes swatches um, don't look great and then they look amazing on the eyes again Don't judge it based on the swatch because I suck at swatches and I own it So we're gonna fast forward and I'm gonna play around with my face I didn't apply any makeup because I wanted to see what I was gonna get in my box whether I was gonna get a primer or lashes or the mascara or what I'm gonna start applying my bases and then I'll skip in between whatever items we did not get in the box so this video with this not become like a really really long one. I just I'm opening up this Wander Beauty um, mask. Okay, yeah, this is slipping and sliding everywhere. This is a really really juicy type of mask, but if you can see, it comes with like two discs and the eye masks are right in between the discs and this is what your eye masks are going to look like. We're just going to peel it and apply like right here. Yeah, I don't feel like this is going to go anywhere, so that's good. While we're masking under our eyes, let's play around with this eyeshadow. So we've had this conversation before, and I was very honest with you guys. Yes, this palette is going to be super fun and can be wearable depending on how you want to put the looks together. The only thing is you're going to have to grab onto a very different palette with more neutral tones in order to kind of make things work. What I'm going to do is I prime my eyes already. I'm going to tap in to this pure palette we received before. This is for the face. This is the pure, um, what is this, the sculptor palette. So I'm just going to get a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend in. I tapped into this very top shade up here and I am just going to blend that shade into my crease and just that's going to be my transition color because clearly the palette doesn't have one of those right now. I think I want to use this beautiful orange right here. I'm going to end up using the very same brush and I'm going to tap out excess because I don't know how the fallout is on these shadows. And I'm just going to apply that directly into the crease, kind of over where I already applied that brown shade. I'm also going to take some of that orange and I'm just going to blend that right on top of the lid. So just lightly blending it out. Notice that it's getting a little darker as it's coming out. out of the crease because of the fact that we applied that bronzer color. So it just tones the orange down just a little bit. Oh. I'll tell you, I dropped the palette just now and they're all still intact, so um, they were pressed very, very well. So I use the very same brush, because what's the point of dirtying more brushes? I mean, I mean, if you needed to, you can, but. So I'm going to tap into that really pretty purple. Oh, by the way, that pink has shimmers in it. So the pink and the purple are not just a flat matte. Those two have either shimmer or a shift to them. So um, I'm really excited to try the purple at least. So I'm gonna take that purple and I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm not gonna bring it all the way to the beginning of the eye. I'm just gonna keep it on the outer portion of the eye and I'm gonna blend that into place. Okay, these colors are really vibrant. I'm gonna follow up with a clean blending brush and I'm gonna blend the edges of these eyeshadows together. I am going to use the gel liner for my brows instead. Let's see how this works. I usually use a deeper color, but I don't know how this is gonna work for my brows. Even though it's not for the brows, I know. This is 
really cute for the brows. Just be careful if you do choose to use it for your brows because it dries really quickly. But I feel like it's going to be waterproof because the way it dried so quickly, I had to like comb through my brows really fast. It is time to remove these babies. I don't see much of a change in this instance, just these little baggies for me not sleeping last night. I am opening the primer. This is what the primer looks like and we are going to apply this oh it has a nice scent a little perfumey not strong maybe it's just me i feel like there's a maybe i overdid this i feel like there's a little bit of a scent going on in there but it's nice it feels it smells like skincare like luxurious skincare and to finish off the look i'm gonna go ahead and use the lippy i got in the box again i kind of wish it was like a mattified lipstick it's not but it's cute, I like the color. I am actually very happy with every single thing I got in the box. I could have gotten lashes or the primer and I would have been happy because these would all just pretty much be backups for me. By the way guys, FYI, I will be doing one or two more looks with this palette and I'll keep them like pretty subtle so that it'll make it easier for you guys to come up with looks and maybe you can kind of recreate them. With that said, I have a giveaway that I am hosting this month. I am going to be giving away a August BoxyCharm box. I have no idea what's gonna be inside the box, so that'll be a surprise to you as it'll be for me. But if you wanna sign up for my giveaway, make sure that you go into the description box. There's gonna be a link for a form that I need you to fill out. That is a Google document once you fill out that form and complete it properly you will be added to the giveaway list and then i'll give it a week and then within a week i'll go ahead and choose a winner please make sure that your youtube account is not private if your account is private and you are subscribed to my channel i won't be able to see you on my list of subscribers which means it'll just make it difficult for me to confirm that you are subscribed and that you followed all the rules the rules are just subscribe to my channel and make sure you're following me on instagram that's really it the giveaway will be live as of right now and one week from today the giveaway will close that is a wrap for this video let me know down below how you feel about the products now that you actually saw me playing around with them and actually applying them as per usual my social media platforms will be right here make sure you follow me there thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys